water makes up about 71% of the Earth's surface. Here at home, the Philadelphia Water Department is working to protect our drinking water and keep our waterways clean. Meteorologist Matt Peterson brings us behind the scenes of Philly's water system. Out of sight, out of mind. And yet it operates 365 days a year, 24 7. It doesn't take a day off. That is Philadelphia Water Commissioner Randy Heyman talking about water infrastructure and facilities throughout the city and how water can be a forgotten resource. The Delaware and Schuylkill Rivers are often overlooked scenery, but the health of these bodies of water shouldn't be. And in 2011, Philadelphia started the Green City Clean Waters Initiative. One of the major areas of pollution in any urban environment is the storm water run off a combined sewer overflow. And so we have to address those and stop that pollution from making it to the river. Ten years into the 25-year plan, the city has made large strides, including a recent announcement to create a new support facility for the current water treatment plant in Port Richmond, while also supporting a move to greener stormwater upgrades throughout the whole city. But Commissioner Heyman says there is still more to do. The bottom line, though, is that we have to reach about 9,600 green acres within that 25-year period. As of last June, I think we had about 1,600. So we have a lot to still do, and you're basically squeezing more and more out of less areas. Even as the water department improves the city's infrastructure and individual residents do their part, heavy machinery is still needed to finish the job. The Philadelphia Water Department does everything it can to keep the Delaware and Schuylkill Rivers as clean as possible. One of the pieces of equipment they have is the R.E. Roy, which uses a skimmer to collect trash and plastics out of the bodies of water. Our changing climate makes the job of the water department even harder. We have a group that deals with climate change and sustainability, and that allows us to look at what's happening in the river, but at the same time, it allows us to look at how climate change is going to affect our infrastructure. Water is extremely precious and valuable, and we all have to take a moment and step back and really appreciate one for what it is as far as water is life, and also, too, we have to appreciate the beauty of it. As we continue to work to clean up the planet, we need to remember water is an important commodity and needs to be treated as such. And as we celebrate Earth Day, its 51st anniversary is, of course, today. You can always head over to the Philadelphia Water Department website. You can learn more about all of their conservation efforts through programs like the Fairmount Waterworks and any other outreach events that they do have. I'm meteorologist Matt Peterson for CBS3 Eyewitness News.